It's just me and this one dude, man. We are going ham on these NPCs. Oh my goodness. I hope you don't think he's doing it by himself. Virus samples will help us track the virus's rate of mutation, which is a long way to say, keep those people alive until I get what I need from them. Got that? Great. Yeah, how does dude sure. call me if like you're that? you're a genocidal maniac, you ever wonder if we even deserve to survive this thing? See, this thing is not as stable as the striker, but <clears throat> it's, it's pretty stable. Look at that. Stable man, that is stable. Of course it's gonna move a little bit. I mean you can't have one percent but that is pretty good. Welcome to the channel guys I appreciate everyone stopping by as you guys can see this build is is a beast man this is my version of the PVE Pred let's just jump right into it the chest piece let's roll for stamina major attributes are skill haste health miners ammo capacity my mask roll for firearms major attribute enemy armor damage minor damage to elites of course my knee pass roll for stamina major attribute enemy armor damage Minor attributes are disrupt, blind up, and damage to elites. Holster, 1401 all the way across the board. Major attribute is crit chance. As your preference, whatever you want to put in there. I chose to put crit chance because as everyone knows, I'm using AR, so they're expecting into enemy armor damage and not crit, so I put that in there. If you want, you can put skill, haste, health, whatever, you know, however you want to run it. That's what I have. My gloves, roll for stamina. Major attributes are assault rifle damage, enemy armor damage, and crit damage. And then last but not least, my backpack, roll for stamina, major attributes, and stability. And you know, of course I'm using ARs, I'm not that good with ARs, so I'm using that stability to help me. Minor, uh, burn resistance, I can, I haven't rolled any of those, so I have an option to roll one if I choose to, like if I want to take out burn and put on ammo, because I am using two assault rifles my mods I am using uh, the purple mods stamina uh, 202 with a 4% damage to elites and I'm not gonna hold you guys too long that's all the way throughout the build and my performance mods are all 6% first state self heal all the way through the build guys I'm not gonna hold you too long 
And as you see, my firearms 41, my stamina is 87, so I'm not getting the 9,000 stamina. Mm-hmm. So, um, yeah, just not getting it. But it's PVE, so it's all right. But, of course, it'll be better with 9,000. It's just I'm using a purple mod, so I haven't made that uh, 9,000 cap. And I don't want to take away from my firearm. So I'm just rolling with it like this right now. I might switch it later and bring you guys an updated version. But as far as my weapons, guys, I'm using a Bullfrog and an LVOAC. The Bullfrog is fully optimized. The LVOA is not. And uh, the talents for my Bullfrog are destructive and deadly and uncomplicated. Now, I also have the one for the Striker PVE build that has Ferocious and Destructive. But Ferocious, of course, doesn't light up because I don't have electronics. And I was, I'm really thinking about taking away from some of my stamina the spec into electronics just so I can, you know unlock that but I, I'm thinking about it and if I like I say if I decide to make some changes I will bring you guys an updated version but these are the this is what I'm wearing using now the bullfrog of, cl of course is up close and personal but you know I, I tried it from long distance and it's not that bad well my LV my LVOAC excuse me is for you know long range and it has the accurate unforgiving to prepare I'm looking I'm out you know I'm looking for a better one of course I want accurate on there and prepare but not I just want to get one without unforgiving because I want to put like deadly or destructive on there so yeah those are the guns guys as far as my skills and talents my skills I'm running with the post and the uh, support station really don't care about signatures just whatever I choose to run it's your preference as well my talents I'm um, of course it's gonna be on the move and steady hands uh, Strap nails imperatives to run that because I am running pred and a strike back. You know, I could switch it for a critical save, but it's you know, it's whatever. <clears throat> Let's just jump into the character sheet, guys. Firearms 4100, stamina 8700, electronics 2900. My weapon damage for this bullfrog is uh 19.7k crit chance 12 and a half. Yeah, crit damage 98%. That's why I'm running the pulse. So I can just always run a booster if someone else is running the pulse and not, you know, they don't have a booster. Uh, headshot 75, accuracy 18%, stability 20%. This is with the Bullfrog, of course. Um, reload speed 20%. All weapon damage bonus 13%. Assault rifle damage bonus 28%. And SMG is 16%. That's just from the, the Pred gear set, guys. Um, I have 48% damage to elites, and I have 59% enemy armor damage. Now, mind you guys, this this build is not optimized. Those numbers will go up, you know, so just keep that in mind. This is an optimized PvE version of this, so. Skill part, I don't have none, 88,000. Skill haste, 9%. Um, no signature skill resource gain. Toughness, 584,000. Max health, 389,000. Armor, 7,900. And, uh... Health regen is 9700. Don't have any of that. Blind death 33, burn 17, disrupt 33. So I don't have any no shock, no bleeding, anything. Now I'm going to bring you guys the updated version, especially when I find another gun and uh, also another uh, chest piece because I don't know if I'm just want to. I want to keep the skill haste and just take health off and put health on kill, or I want to get a chest piece that has health already on it and I can just roll health on kill on it. I, it just I'm, I'm still you know in the problem just thinking about it I might just keep skill haste of course for the skills because I have no skill power well pfft. so I might just take health off because you know it is you know you know uh, it's PVE so you know whatever is whatever I definitely can't roll uh, health on kill on the maps because I need the enemy armor damage I might just look for another gloves I have you know I can pit health on kill on but I don't want to do that because I have to take away from my crit hit damage. So yeah, I might just be on the look for another chess piece where I can roll health on kill or I might just keep it like this and just take the health off. I don't know. I appreciate everyone stopping by, man. This is your boy Jesse James, man. If you appreciated the video, please just uh, smash that like button. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe, man. I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.